guys, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever is you today, and it is Mamamoo solo time. This is, of course, not part of the Ultimate Mamamoo ranking, guys, uh, for anybody that doesn't know. I know I know I say this every video, but I want to make sure everybody knows why I'm checking this out separately. Um, I did a poll last year when I started the Ultimate Mamamoo ranking of if I should include the separate solos uh, into the Ultimate Mamamoo ranking. I actually was for it, I'll be totally honest with you. I was absolutely for it, because for me... It was never about comparing the members because if you don't know, OT4, Mamamoo, my bias, Mamamoo is my bias. Um, but for me, it was never about comparing the members, it was about comparing the songs, always. Um, so I was always fine for that, but I did a poll and um, the majority was people didn't want me to do that because I, I think they would have seen it as that. Um, so it's a shame, but not the end of the world, but like, you know, that went many months then. I was like, oh, I still want to really check out the solos. So I'm trying to do this on a weekly basis of, you know, we're going in member order each time. Uh, it was we in last week um, and it's what this week um, of like doing it that way, like checking out a completely separate solo, which is not on a Mamamoo album. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise it would be on the Ultimate Ranking. Um, so yeah, this, I'd say the title of the song alone um, has a reputation. Uh, I'm a B, which may be shortened for something else. Uh, I, as as iconic as that song title alone is, I've never heard this song. I have no idea what sort of, what, what sort of sound to get. I got a feeling this song is not going to be a ballad uh, with a, with a song title, um, but I, I I don't think I've heard a snippet. I'm 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 trying really trying to think like if it was a guide or something like that, maybe if you heard something. I really can't think what this song sounds like. So this is going in completely fresh. Uh, this is of course. With um, I'm a B. Uh, so let's check out I'm a B. And Shane Tom of Bumblebees, folks. Do you know what I mean? I'm sure it's going to be a beautiful music video as always, too. Very symbol, symbol, a lot of symbolism. I don't know. Already. God, our MVs are so cool. I 
are just awesome so much visual stuff going on so much symbolism but it looks too um which i'm not i'm not great with interpretation first time watching an mv when it comes to those that sort of symbolism symbolism stuff um but it's great to look at and i love you know if you guys know please let me know in the comments um i'm gonna be totally honest with you uh i really like maria um you know um twit I really, really like Twitter. This may be my second favorite song from it. Honestly, it might be my second favorite song from it. The beat, the beats on this song were just unbelievable. Whether they were in the verse or the chorus itself, um, I mean, any time Quasa sings, it's just it's a pleasure to listen to her. But when she goes into that sort of like I don't want to say whisper, but like lower register sort of tone. Um, it's not a whisper. It's not. It's not even hushed tones in some ways, but it's. It's like she's very close to you singing. Do you know what I mean? Like she's singing in you. It just sounds, or oh, every time, unbelievable. Uh, the low, you know, her lower register that she's done in other songs is always insane too. Adore her voice. I love her too. Um, you know, I love her. Who she's, who she is, what she stands for, how she's completely herself. Um, you know, how she was, I mean, I don't know if she still is, but how she'd been attacked in the public for stupid reasons. Um, and how she always just almost replies with songs like this, which I don't know them. I, I don't know. I'll be honest. I don't know the meaning for the song. I'd love for you guys to let me know uh, in the comments, the meaning and, you know, the MV. But the song slaps. The song absolutely slaps. I, the chorus was so good. So good. There's some really subtle synth work as well happening. And then it happened. And then it happened. That bridge. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, traditional Asian instruments. I adore the sound of it. Um, one of my favourite, like, um, is, of course, talking about Japan here instead. But, like, one of my favourite, like, film scores is Hans Zimmer's Last Samurai score. Uh, and, of course, Last Samurai being set in Japan. Uh, I know we're talking about Korea here with 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 Wasa. Um but like those sort of Asian strings, I don't know the names of a lot of these instruments for straight for frustratingly, you know what the gentleman was playing there. I, I don't know what that instrument's called, but the sound, oh, I love, I always love the sound of it. And when you when you mix those like traditional Asian elements into other genres, in this case pop, oh my god, it sounds great. Like it's it's like it's like well this had synth as well uh, so like synth is a cheat code for me and this this traditional atmospheric sort of um, instrumental is a, is a is a cheat code for me too so like I said I like the song a lot um, I don't know what else to say I can't wait to listen to it again um, I don't know if um, excuse me I don't know if a lot of people agree with me on the whole thing I I really like Maria don't get me wrong Maria. Like from what I gather, a tweet is obviously very popular, very popular song of hers as well. But from Mar Maria, from what I gather, is her most popular song. Am I wrong in saying that? Um, or her most popular single, I would say. I I like it. I like it a lot. But this, this is the one for me when it comes to that. You may have noticed as well, guys. I said second favorite. There's another Hwasa, Hwasa song, um, which is in that first place, which is LMM. I mean, it made me cry, for God's sake, first time listening to it. Um, God, I almost, like, watery-eyed from just thinking about the song. That's my, that, I mean, it's going to take something 
to, to knock that off the top spot. But that second spot is a high high place. And I would put Emma B there. Um, adored it. I adore her. I love her. Uh, so anyway, guys. Uh, next, next of course, next week um, will be Sola. Sola Cido. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Sola time. Um, so, yeah, let me know what solo songs I could check out. Recommend me. Uh, what, and, and remember, like, for these solo songs, they I you know I don't want them to be linked into a Mamamoo album because they're gonna get covered anyway into the in the Ultimate Mamamoo ranking. They have to be completely separate like this was. Uh, so next time it'll be Solar and then it goes to be Munbyol, we in and then we'll be returning back to uh, and we keep on going like that, you know. Um, so yeah, let me know what solo song to check out next. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. That gave me a great idea. You want to see more? Of and Mama Moo on the channel. I'm never gonna get bored to do that. Sorry. Um, and please let me know what to check out from Solar next time. And of course, please subscribe because my God, plenty of Mama Moo on the channel already. In the Mama Moo reactions playlist There's about sixty episodes of the Ultimate Mama Moo ranking and counting um, as well, where I go from beginning to most recent in their official discography. Send my song, get my thoughts, and put into a list of most favorite to least favorite, um, which is a lot of fun. And there is a lot. I mean a lot of exclusives to Mamamoo on my Patreon. A lot. Uh, I would say there's probably more... Well, yeah, probably joint more Mamamoo um, exclusives than any other any other group, I think. I, along with... Uh, I checked out a full concert. Uh, there's a full concert reaction on there too. From that concert. Uh, apparently it's the most iconic one they've done as a four. And it, I could see why. I could see why, and that was a blast. So if you want to see any of that, guys, head to the Patreon. Uh, you can also make Patreon requests, uh, which are guaranteed reaction requests for me to check out what kind of whatever kind of video it is. And early access to any videos I finish editing there and then, sometimes days, sometimes weeks, sometimes months before they go onto YouTube. So hope to see you over there. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.